Hi guys, it's Rob from Projector Central and this is our review of the Epson LS500 UST projector and screen. So if you're not familiar with the LS500, it's one of the new ultra short throw laser projectors designed to let you chuck your puny living room TV and replace it with a 100 or 120 inch picture. Two things make this possible. One is the bright punching image you get with a laser light engine that never needs lamp replacements. The other thing is a special ambient light rejecting screen that allows the projector to function in bright light like a TV. Now if you want to learn more about this new category, you'll find a link to our UST buyer's guide in the video description below. To get started, let's take a quick look at the projector. Epson's LS500 is a little less wide than some competitors' USTs, and it has an unusual periscope lens that I'll talk more about in a minute. The back of the projector facing the screen has the connection panel with a pair of HDMI ports. The front grille comes off to expose a control pad, focus lever, and an HDMI compartment where you can hide the included streaming stick. You get a compact non-backlit remote, and there's an extra remote that's just for the stick if you ever move it to another display. Okay, so let's get on with it and talk about the most important things you should know about the Epson LS500. So I mentioned that an ALR screen is key for watching day-to-day -day TV, and Epson makes it easy for you by mating the LS500 with either a 100 or 120 inch screen. This guarantees you'll have a great experience right out of the gate versus just casting the image on a wall or a regular screen. Now the cost of the screen is reflected in the price, which is $4,999 for the 100 inch or $5,999 for the 120 inch package with either a white or a black projector. Once you account for the cost of the screen, this puts the LS500 in the middle range of the laser UST category. But the LS500 does have some unique characteristics I'll talk about that help justify its price. Now you should know that the screen comes disassembled. Putting it together, hanging it, and setting up the projector can take a few hours. You can watch our LS500 screen building video to see the process. It's not difficult, but if you're not comfortable, you can always buy from a dealer who can do the installation. So the LS500 is rated for 4,000 ANSI lumens. That is super bright, and it makes this the brightest projector by far among the UST laser TVs, most of which are 3,000 lumens or less. And that makes the LS500 really well suited for bright rooms, even those with a lot of natural sunlight coming in. Like most of the other living room UST projectors out there, the laser on the LS500 is rated for 20,000 hours of use. One thing to keep in mind though, is that unlike some of the competition, the LS500 doesn't come with a proximity sensor to dim or turn off the laser. So if you have little kids running around, you'll want to be sure to place the projector for safety. Now pretty much all these new projector TVs come with wireless internet streaming for movies, binge watching, and YouTube. What's different here though is that Epson wisely avoided the terrible Aptoid platform that some other brands use. Instead they opted for Google's own Android TV. You have access to all the streaming services in the Google Play App Store, which work well and support 4K content from Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, and others. Epson includes an Android TV streaming stick in the box that slips into the hidden compartment behind the front grille, and there are dedicated buttons on the remote to access that input. There's also a mic on the remote to search content with Google Assistant, and the stick is compatible with Chromecast built in so you can always cast from your phone apps. Several of the other new UST living room projectors come with a robust sound system, including Epson's own LS300, which has more recently developed 1080p UST that we hope to review soon. But the LS500 only comes with small utility speakers, so Epson expects you to add your own audio. You can easily connect a soundboard or AV receiver to the HDMI ARC connection on the back of the unit, which routes the sound from the connected sources to the external audio system. Okay, now we're gonna to get to the good stuff that makes this projector really stand out. It all has to do with image quality. To start with, like all of Epson's projectors, the LS500 uses three LCD imaging chips, one for each primary color. That means it delivers equal white and color brightness for bright saturated colors. It's also completely immune to rainbow artifacts that you might see with some single chip DLP projectors. However, unlike those DLP models rated at full 4K resolution, the LS500 follows other 4K Epson models that use native 1080p chips enhanced by 4K Pro UHD pixel shifting. 
Now, as we've said in many reviews, Epson does such a great job with the pixel shifting and processing in these projectors, it's almost impossible to tell from normal viewing distance that they don't use 4K imaging chips. And speaking of picture detail, that brings us to the next important thing you should know about the Epson LS500. So it's pretty hard not to notice the giant periscope lens on the LS500 that pops up like a big cyclops eye over the chassis. Compare that with the recessed lens and optics found in most of the competitor UST projectors. The Epson's bigger lens does a much better job keeping the image focused out to the far top corners of the screen. That's where most USTs start to stretch out the image geometry and have a bit of trouble maintaining sharpness. The only minor drawback to having this bigger lens is that it gives the projector a longer throw ratio than most of the competition, which means it has to sit a bit further away from the wall to project the same image size. For the Epson, the back of the projector sits about 17 inches from the wall for a 100 inch image, which puts the front of the projector about 32 inches from the wall. You want a nice deep credenza or low boy TV stand to rest it on so you're not pulling the furniture too far from the wall. Okay, so how did the LS500 look on screen? Well, no matter what kind of content I threw at it in any lighting conditions, the picture was impressive. Epson has a solid reputation for good out-of-box color that doesn't stray far from the movie and TV production standards, and they managed to deliver that here even at this projector's very bright settings. There are four different picture modes on the LS500 and a ton of adjustments to optimize the image, even the kind of advanced color settings that professional calibrators use to do instrument calibrations. They can be used to make the out-of-box image even better, but you don't need them to get a good picture with this projector. Of the four modes, Bright Cinema was the second brightest, and the one that had the best overall brightness and color accuracy for watching in moderate to bright light. It's the one I expect most users will watch for their day-to-day -day TV viewing. In fact, even with overhead lights washing on the screen, I still found it too bright and had to make a few small adjustments by eye to really hone the picture in. Suffice to say that the LS500's colors looked punchy and saturated, the ever-important flesh tones were natural and not too ruddy or pink the way they are in some projectors, and the ALR screen did a great job rejecting overhead light and keeping the image from washing out. This combo is a truly effective day-to-day -day TV replacement. Now for darkroom movie watching, I ended up calibrating the game mode for my review. But if you're not doing a full calibration, the much darker cinema mode looked awesome after I cranked up the projector's laser setting to give it a little more punch. And it looked even better with HDR movies, which really take advantage of the LS500's high brightness. Epson includes the 16-step HDR brightness control found in its best projectors. This lets you perfectly tune the picture for different movies, though it's a little hard to get to that slider since Epson forgot to put a direct access button on the remote for it. About my only complaint with the LS500's picture was that its black level was definitely somewhat brighter than what we're used to with Epson's home theater projectors, especially its well-respected ultra-black UB models. But that's to be expected from a 4000 lumen projector that's really designed for bright room viewing. It doesn't mean you don't get great contrast from the LS500 most of the time, only that in a dark theater the black looks a little more gray and you sacrifice some shadow detail on really dark scenes, something that us experts notice mainly because we're always watching for it. Anyway, when you're viewing with lights on, you probably won't even notice these differences. If you're a gamer, you'll also be happy to know that not only does the LS500 look great with the latest high resolution games, but it also has by far the lowest input lag of any ultra short throw laser projector we've tested. It's rated for 16.7 milliseconds, which puts it into true gaming projector territory, and in practice we measure just a little higher than that at 21 milliseconds. Okay all you 3D fanboys and girls out there, I've saved the best for last. In a dark room, the LS500 delivered a truly fantastic and engaging 3D experience, better than I've seen so far from any home theater projector in my studio. If you already watch a lot of 3D on a different projector, it's easy to understand why. With any projector, putting on the glasses for full 1080p 3D noticeably cuts the brightness. But the Epson's most powerful dynamic picture mode brings its full 4000 lumens to bear on 3D. Not only was it brighter than I've seen, but Epson's extensive picture controls really allowed me to optimize the image and take out the slight green tint that's usually found in most projectors' brightest modes. They also helped me give skin tones a more natural look. You can find my calibrated settings for 3D in our review on projectorcentral.com.
Okay, so that concludes Projector Central's video review of the Epson LS500 UST laser projector. Feel free to use the links below to visit our full review for more detail, including our measurements and final calibrated settings. You'll also find links to our LS500 unboxing and screen building videos. And you can take a look at our UST Buyer's Guide to learn more about this new category and to see descriptions of all the current 4K UST laser projectors. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified about our next video. We hope to see you back here soon.